this video we will try to solve a problem that was asked by a brother the economist on the telegram channel the question is like this a revenue maximizing monopolist requires a profit of at least 1500 okay her demand and cost functions are given as this is the demand function that is p is equal to 304 minus 2q p is the price q is the quantity and cost function is given as c is equal to 500 plus 4q plus 8q square okay where q is the quantity obviously we have to determine her output level and price when the monopolist is uh, maximizing his uh, revenue subject to this uh, very profit constraint okay also we have to contrast these values um, that would be achieved under profit maximization okay let's see how to solve this question first what we are being given we are be, uh, being given the demand function okay let me write this demand function for uh, let me write here for revenue maximization okay we solve it for first revenue maximization then we will solve for profit maximization okay now first we write the demand function that is p is equal to 304 minus 2q okay now this is our demand function inverse demand function first we need to find the total revenue total revenue is simply uh, price into quantity okay price into quantity gives us total revenue what is price price is this very function 304 minus 2q and to this we multiply the q to get the total revenue this becomes 304 minus 2q square okay this is the total revenue function for the monopolist okay what is total cost so total cost is also being given us here that is 500 uh, plus 4q plus 8q square this is the uh, cost function of the monopolist now <coughs> sorry what is profit profit is simply the difference between total revenue and total cost okay what is our total revenue that is being given as 304 minus 2 q square to this we subtract the total cost this is total cost since uh, this uh, mi minus sign will be uh, multiplied to each of these uh, terms so this becomes mi minus 500 minus 4q uh, minus 8q square i hope i am making myself clear okay so when we solve this will come out to be actually it is 304q here i forgot because this q is multiplied to each of these terms okay so we have minus 2q square minus 8q square comes out to be minus 10q square 304q uh, minus 500 sorry 304q uh, minus 4q comes out to be minus 300 q rather a plus 300 q okay then we have minus 500 this is the profit function for the monopolist now what we are being given we want to find the revenue maximizing level of output and price and we are being given that uh, we require at least uh, profit of 1500 okay so we are being uh, given that the goal of the monopolist is to maximize revenue okay that means if the goal of the monopolist is to maximize revenue and we are being given the profit constraint that means we want to maximize our total revenue okay that means uh, sorry we want to maximize our uh, profit okay subject to the profit constraint that is given us let us denote it by this pi c is our profit constraint and what is our uh, profit constraint that is equal to 1500 okay to get the revenue maximizing level of output we equate this profit function okay with the given constraint uh, profit uh, function okay so to get this we set pi is equal to pi subscript c that means profit function we equate it with the given constraint of the profit function so what is our profit function this is minus 10 q square uh, plus 300 q minus 500 and we uh, equate it with the profit which we want to achieve the least profit the least profit is 1500 so we equate these two to get the revenue maximizing level of output and price okay so <laughs> let us uh, solve these uh, terms we have minus 10 q square uh, plus 300 q if we transpose this will become minus so we have minus 2000 should be equal to zero okay so if we just try to solve this very quadratic equation so first we will factor out this 10 or write it like this if we multiply both sides by minus uh, 
minus then this will become 10 q square uh, minus 300 q plus 2000 is equal to 0 factor 10 out so we are left with q square uh, minus uh, 30 q uh, plus 200 is equal to 0 now transpose this 10 it will get divided with this 0 and we are left with q square minus 30 q plus 200 should be equal to 0 now we want to factor this out okay so i will not go into the detail here so let me write it here we will get, we should get two terms such that their sum should be equal to minus 30 and the multiplication of the same the two terms should be equal to 200 okay so if we can guess here so if we write here minus 20 minus 10 so minus 20 plus minus 10 is equal to minus 30 minus 20 into minus 10 comes out to be 200 okay we can write q square minus 20 q minus 10 q uh, plus 200 is equal to 0 now sub factoring the uh, required variables here so if we factor out q we are left with q minus 20 and here if we factor out 10 we will be left with q minus 20 and it is equal to 0 that means either q minus 10 <coughs> sorry it is here minus either q minus 10 is equal to 0 or let me write it here like this if we factor out uh, q minus 20 if we uh, factor out q minus 20 here q minus 20 so we we are left with q minus 10 okay is equal to 0 that means either q minus 20 is equal to 0 or q minus 10 is equal to 0 now if q minus 10 is equal to 0 that means q is equal to 10 if q minus 20 is equal to 0 that means q is equal to 20 if we transpose the terms to our edges okay <coughs> i hope i am making myself clear actually uh, i am not feeling well but uh, still i am trying to make uh, myself useful for you people okay now we can see uh, revenue is maximized at two points when q is equal to 10 or q is equal to 20 okay so we want to see which of the two quantities uh, gives us maximum revenue okay so let's just put the value of q is equal to 10 first in our revenue function and after that we will compare it with when q is equal to 20 so if q is equal to 10 what is our revenue then total revenue when q is equal to 10 comes out to be that is this is our revenue function that is 3 or 4 in place of q we write 10 minus 2 the value of q is 10 square <coughs> q square is equal to 10 square sorry so we have 3 or 4 or minus 10 tens are 100 um, into 2 20 is equal to 100 sorry it is here 2q square okay so 100 into 2 is 200 okay so this comes out to be the you go zero so i sorry okay the honey is the earth this comes out to be 20 2840 of total revenue we get when we have q is equal to 10 now what is the profit uh, sorry revenue when q is equal to 20 now let us see total revenue when q is equal to 20 just plug the value of q is equal to 20 in total revenue function <coughs> sorry so we have 304 in place of q we have 20 then we have minus uh, 2 in place of q we have 20 square okay so this comes out to be if we write this 0 first now 2 4s are 8 2 0s are 0 2 3s are 6 minus 2 20 into 20 is 400 into 2 is 800 so we have 0 minus 0 is 0 or 10 is 0 to earth then satan i earth the, am i getting the correct result correct here or not so this comes out to be 0 minus 0 is this 8 minus 0 is this then we have 10 minus 8 is 10 minus 8 is 2 then we have 5 to 8 0 that means uh, uh, we have total revenue is equal to 5 to 8 0 obviously uh, revenue is maximized 
when we have q is equal to 20 okay because when q is equal to 20 our maximum revenue is equal to 5280 and when q was 10 our minimum uh, our revenue was 2840 that means uh, a revenue maximizing monopolist will produce 20 units okay now what will be the price then now price is simply equal to just plug the value of q is equal to 20 into our price function that's inverse demand function we have 304 minus 2 the value of uh, <coughs> sorry uh, the value of q is 20 here okay i if i we can write it this is 304 minus this is 40 and we will when we solve this will come out to be this is 4 minus 4 minus 0 is 4 then we have 10 minus 4 is 6 so we get 264 so uh, price under revenue maximization will be 264 and the total revenue and quantity that will be produced will be equal to 20 okay this was the case of revenue maximization okay what is uh, the case under profit maximization so let me wrap this out here okay so in case of profit maximization now we will solve for profit maximization so what is our profit function is being given us what are the conditions for profit maximization first uh, condition is that the derivative d uh, d pi upon dq should be equal to zero that means we uh, differentiate profit function with respect to q and set it equal to zero what we call the first order condition okay so if we differentiate this with respect to q so this two will become coefficient this will become minus uh, 2 tens are 20 so we have 20 q uh, plus the derivative of q is 1 so we are left with <coughs> i'm sorry as i told i am not feeling well so we have 300 is equal to 0 okay if we transpose this 20 it will become positive 20 okay is equal to 300 i hope you know how i did it so we are left with 30 upon 2 that comes out to be 50 and that means quantity produced when the goal of the monopolist is the profit maximization will be equal to 15 that means uh, quantity produced in case of profit maximization will be 15 and second uh, second uh, order condition for profit maximization requires that means d square pi upon uh, d q square should be less than zero okay when we take the second derivative of the profit function <coughs> and evaluate it the critical point that is q is equal to 15 we should get a number which is less than zero okay so when we uh, first uh, this was the first derivative okay second derivative will be the derivative of this first derivative that means we need to again differentiate this very function with respect to q so derivative of q is here let me write here d square pi upon d q square when evaluated at a q is equal to 15 so what we get here uh, so derivative of q is 1 so we are left with minus 20 and we don't have um, this expression in q in q so we don't need to evaluate it at q is equal to 10 okay so derivative of constant is 0 so we got the number less than zero that means uh, we have satisfied both the conditions that is first order condition and second order condition okay what actually uh, this mean this second order condition second order condition means if this is our profit function let us say this is our profit function okay pi function first order condition means that we should the derivative of this profit function should be when we differentiate this profit function with respect to zero with respect to quantity okay that means slope is equal to zero when is the slope equal to zero when we differentiate this profit function with respect to q okay so at this point we get quantity is equal to 15 okay second order condition requires that after attaining the maximum okay the second uh, this profit function should be falling that means this uh, de this second derivative should be less than zero and we got the negative slope that is we got a number which is minus 20 which is less than zero okay so both the conditions are satisfied okay and we can see here uh, 
uh, what will be the profit uh, sorry what will be the um, price in case of profit maximization just plug the value which we got here q is equal to 15 304 uh, minus 2 the value of q which we got <coughs> i'm sorry so we can see this is 304 minus 30 this comes out to be uh, this is 4 minus 0 is 4 okay then we have 274 okay and we can clearly see that price under profit maximization is 274 but under revenue maximization the price was 264 so there is a difference of uh, 10 units in price okay <coughs> similarly quantity producer in case of profit maximization was 15 but in case of revenue maximization it was 20 okay so in revenue maximization in revenue maximization uh, we produce more quantity than in case of profit maximization okay and the price under profit uh, maximization is more than the price that is under the revenue maximization okay i hope i make myself clear in this video but uh, as i told you i am not feeling well so if there can, are any mistakes in making you understand i will uh, apologize uh, to you people okay have a nice day thank you